This video is about a third-party software tool called Boxora that integrates with Brightpole. Boxora lets you print barcode labels for your products using rolls of labels and a label printer. It lets you scan barcoded items when packing a shipment and the idea of this is to prevent incorrect shipments. It lets you process assemblies and disassemblies which is essentially simplified inventory corrections. It also lets you do a quick inventory check or update simply by scanning a product barcode. Boxora is not a Brightpearl product. It's built and supported by third-party developers. For more information, have a look at boxora.com or if you have any questions or need support, email hello at boxora.com. Training on Boxora is available as part of a Brightpearl implementation project. We're now looking at Boxora. All of the Boxora features require that you have an account with Boxora, which is free. Once you've created an account, you need to enter details which let Boxora get information from your Brightpile account. Go to the Connection Settings screen and enter details into the top four boxes. The data center your Brightpile account is on can be seen from your Brightpile URL. Your Brightpile account code, which is also what you use to get to your Brightpile login screen, can be found at the very bottom right of your Brightpile account. Use the same email address and password as you use to log into Brightpile. Make sure you create a separate Boxora account for each of your staff that will need it, since each team member accesses Brightpile with their own details. Save the connection settings at this point. Once Boxora has connected to your Brightpile account, you'll get a choice of warehouses and price lists. The sell price list is used for your labels, and the cost price list is used for inventory corrections and assemblies. If you want to show prices on your labels including tax, then put the tax rate here as a percentage. Make sure you put the currency code of your Brightpile account in here, and that's the base currency. If you want to show any custom fields on your labels, put the Brightpile custom field code in here. And finally, if you're scanning goods out using Boxora, choose which field identifies products when you're scanning them. This field is what you've actually got printed on your barcode labels. There are two ways to print labels using Boxora. The first way is to log into Boxora itself via a web browser at boxora.com. Find your way to the product details screen using the search at the top right and then click the print label button. What this does is it gives you a PDF file that you download and then print. The size of the label and the contents of the label are defined in your settings and we'll come back to that later. If you want 10 of these labels, just choose 10 when you print the PDF file. The second way to print labels is directly from within Brightpearl, using what's called a browser extension. The browser extension recognizes that you're looking at a certain page in Brightpearl and adds a label printing button. I'll show you how to add the browser extension at the end of the video. You can print labels from the product edit screen using this button on the right. Once you've installed the browser extension, you can also select products from the product list and print labels using this link here. Because you choose how many labels you want when you actually print the PDF, you have to have the same number of labels for each of the products if you use this method. You can also print labels from the Brightpearl purchase order screen, which is most commonly used when you're receiving goods into stock. Select the rows you want labels for, edit the quantity, and then at the bottom of the screen, click Get Barcode Labels. If you want to tweak the number of labels you want, you can actually change the number on the purchase order before clicking the button and there's no need to save the purchase order for this to take effect. You'll get a label for each of the items you've chosen on the purchase order. And here we can see three labels for the first item and one label for the second item. When using the browser extension to print labels like this, you still need to be logged into Boxora in a separate tab. To print the PDF, either just pop down to the right hand side if you're in Google Chrome or hit Control P. Now that we've seen how to produce the labels, we'll take a quick look at setting up. Once you've signed up for a Boxora account and connected to Brightpearl, go to your Boxora settings screen. In the Product Labels section, you can enter your label size in millimeters, which determines the size of the PDF that's created. You can enter a label template in HTML, the barcode format, and then the barcode height in millimeters. For more information on what you can put in the label template, click this help link on Merge Fields. And for other general help on Boxora, click the help link up here in the menu. Boxora provides a way to prevent your warehouse team from packing shipments until all goods have been scanned correctly into the box. Like label printing, you can either do this directly in Boxora, or you can add the browser extension to your Google Chrome to add buttons onto the Brightpearl screen itself. First up, we'll take a look at the Boxora method. 
In order for Boxero to open the right shipment, you need to add a barcode to your Goods Out Note paperwork, which is printed from BrightPearl. Here we've got a Goods Out Note template in BrightPearl with that barcode ready to go. Use the GN barcode widget. You might also need to update the BrightPearl barcode format to code 128 in your BrightPearl account at Setup, Other, Barcode Labels. Go to the Boxora shipment screen and scan in this barcode. The shipment will open up on screen, ready for you to start scanning items. As you pack items into the box, scan their barcode. If the item is found on the shipment, you'll get a success sound and the scan quantity will increase. If the item you've scanned is not in this shipment, you'll get an error sound and a message. You've just saved the customer from getting the wrong item. If there are multiple items on each shipment, scan each one. If the barcode is damaged or you want to override the scanning, you can use the plus or minus buttons on each row. When all items are successfully scanned, you'll get a success sound and the button to pack will appear. Clicking this will mark the shipment as packed in BrightPearl. If you're integrating BrightPearl with ShipStation or another carrier service, this is the point at which the shipment is sent to the carrier service to get a shipping label and a tracking reference. Boxora does not integrate directly with the shipping service. It only tells BrightPearl that the shipment is packed. You'll need to use BrightPearl to unpack a shipment if you packed it by mistake. If you want Boxora to automatically pack the shipment when all items are scanned OK, just tick this box in the Boxora settings screen. Alternatively, instead of using Boxora for scanning, you can add the browser extension to Google Chrome and get a similar function on the BrightPearl packing note screen itself. This needs a little more setup, but means you can stay in BrightPearl for all your tasks. Once the browser extension is installed and active, you'll see a couple of input fields and some extra buttons on your Goods Out note. You'll also see that the Pack and Ship buttons are hidden. They'll appear once all items have been scanned OK. Pop the cursor into the first box and scan your items. The rows will go green in the same way as using Boxora itself, but this time the match is found between the scanned barcode and the third column on the packing note template. Edit your BrightPearl packing note template to put the relevant column in third position using the custom columns feature on the template edit screen. If you're using BrightPearl and the browser extension to scan your goods out, then you also need to add a little bit of code to the bottom of the HTML mode of your packing note template. So go to the packing note template edit screen, flip to HTML mode, and then go down to the bottom and paste in a little bit of code that's available on the Boxora help pages. Make sure you replace the My BrightPearl account code with whatever account code you have at the very bottom right hand side of your BrightPearl account. Next we'll look at the assemblies feature, which is actually just an automated set of inventory corrections. Let's say we're building a bike wheel, which is made up of 32 spokes, one rim and one hub. When we build a wheel, we can no longer sell the components separately, so we need to take them out of stock. We end up with a completed wheel, which is a regular stock tracked item, which we need to add into stock. The assembly process, or the build process, reduces the quantity of components and adds the finished item. The disassembly or unbuild process removes the finished item and adds the components. Start off by creating all of the different components and the finished product in BrightPearl. They all need to be stock tracked items. In Boxora, go to the assemblies page and search for the finished product, which in our case is a wheel. Choose this product to create an assembly, and now you need to create the components. Again, choose the item, we're going to search for the hub. Choose how many of them you want to add into this finished product. We'll now add the rim and 32 spokes. You're building a bill of materials that will be used each time you need to build a wheel. Next time you build a wheel in your warehouse, go to the Boxora assembly screen and click to open the right assembly. Boxora checks the current inventory levels of all of the components to see how many wheels you could build. Although we've got lots of hubs and lots of rims in stock, we've only got 64 spokes, which is why we only have enough inventory to build two wheels. Let's build a wheel, taking us from 9 on hand to 10 on hand. You can see we've now got 10 wheels on hand, and Boxora has reduced the inventory quantity of spokes, rims, and hubs. In our BrightPearl account, 
we can see the changes in our inventory audit trail. Every inventory adjustment also creates an accounting transaction, and you can see this on the Brightpool General Ledger, with the comment added by Boxora. Whenever inventory is added to your system, it needs to have a cost value. So when you're setting up the assembly in Boxora, you can choose whether the value of the finished product, the wheel in this case, is the sum of the component costs, which is recommended, or the cost price of the finished product on your Brightpearl cost price list. Note that you can only have up to 50 assemblies in Boxora, and each assembly can only have 50 components. Assemblies are for putting stock track components together into a finished product. It's not really a manufacturing management system for things like cloth or raw materials. There's another Bright Pearl video called Understanding Bundles, Packages and Assemblies, which goes into much more detail around what these kind of product structures are and whether you should perhaps use a bundle or an assembly. Boxora can also be used as a quick way of checking the stock level of an item by scanning its barcode. Once you're logged into your Boxora account, just choose Barcode on the top right hand side and scan the barcode in. You'll be taken to the product page where you'll see the current stock levels and the location. If you want to change the quantity here, you can simply add the new quantity and hit update. Any inventory added is added to the product's default location using the cost price of the price list you've set up in your connection settings. Now what we'll do is we'll see how to install the Boxora browser extension onto Google Chrome, which is currently the only supported browser. First thing we need to do is install TampaMonkey into Chrome, which is a free extension that handles user scripts. Get the TampaMonkey extension from the Chrome Web Store. Once it's added, you'll see this little icon at the top right, a black square with two little eyes. Now what we need to do is add the Boxora script. So open a new tab, and then go to boxora.com slash user scripts slash boxora.user.js with a capital B. Once you've done that, you'll get a pop-up from Tampa Monkey asking if you want to install this script. Click OK. And that's done. Next time you go to a Bright Pearl screen where the browser extension is actually doing something, you'll see a little notification up here on the right-hand side. And on this particular page, what the extension is doing is it's adding this link in here and giving you controls to select products and print labels. If you go to the Boxora help screens, you'll see the latest version of the extension, and then some useful links here for getting Chrome, Tampa Monkey, and then the plugin itself. So to sum up, in this video we saw how to print barcode labels for products, we saw how to scan barcoded items when packing a shipment, we saw how to process assemblies and disassemblies, and then we saw how to do a quick inventory check and then update. And that takes us to the end of the Boxora video.